Okay, so, um... Hey, what's up? Yes, what? What's up? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday morning for my weekly Sanctum Universum sermon. The Sanctum Universum. And why did we found this holy order? Is it mere blind devotion to an omnipotent yet seemingly absent deity, as our critics decry? Or is it an means to cheat money out of fanatical believers in the false and foolish, as others denounce? Of course, the answer is neither. The Sanctum Universum was founded nearly 15 years ago by our brother, Aquilus. He began with the idea that humanity was given the gift of star travel by our benevolent creator, and that it is our destiny to reach him. Aquilus boldly asked such a question. It was founded 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um. Let's get out of here. We're going to go. See if we can track a few things down on the surface. Um, Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people. Make sure to get yourself help before it becomes a problem. Right. Hey, that was the Ten Taurus. That was Lieutenant Torres. <laughs> Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level, it doesn't mean Were you talking? Because <laughs> you weren't making a lot of sense. What's happening? The UC Exchange is a great place to buy your weapons. Just Interstellar make sure to keep them up. holstered the at all times. Is where they get you. I agree, 100%. And with Spacer's Varun and the Crimson Fleet, you have to buy it. What's up, Sloan? Have a good one. Good seeing you again. Governor, good to see you again. I, I'm, I'd love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the Trade Authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am right. I right? Right, right. Sorry, we have to cut this conversation short. Yeah. He wants a bribe. Oh. I'm sorry, I went right past Welcome to this. the office of the Governor. Hello, do you have business with Governor Hurst? Uh, um... I guess not. Take care now. Well, I know what he's about. He's about taking breath. Yes. Hello? Do you have a child or children between the ages of 5 to 18? Enroll them in a United Colonies yeah. Distance Learning Program today. Your children will be provided with a teaching program and teaching them art, science, mathematics, history, and more. All in the comfort of your own home. Put your children on the I think right I, talk I know the Deimos employees here on Mars think I'm overbearing. But what they don't know is that I've saved this operation from being shut down countless times. Hey. It's not easy coordinating corporate efforts between the Star Yard and here. Okay. So what do you do here? I coordinate between Deimos corporate and the other operations, such as the Star Yard itself and the mining operations here on Sidonia. Deimos Star Yards Corporation is a complex entity, given that the different divisions have different goals and priorities. Mm -hmm. My job is to make sure those are all in alignment. Okay. Bye then. Good talking to you again, Leon. I think he's the head of this department. <sighs> Mining must be a fun job, or else why would we keep getting so many applicants? Right. It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. <laughs> I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. Right. Okay. 
Take care. So, While I may technically work in HR, Tia is really the one to see for any work concerns. Okay, well. Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account has played a part in that. Okay. So At least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. <laughs> go me! Tia, do you have any Another work? Another long day. Oh, well, I guess Jillian is the uh, big old lie. Andrea, where did you go? All right. Do I need a med packs? Let's see here. Probably not. <laughs> Wait a second. So this is a m To have a sense of humor, or else work and everything else is dull. Right. So you program Gnome. Yeah. That robot. Gnome's there. been down here forever. He's also been broken forever. Can't actually walk or do work, and we don't have it in the budget to fix him. No one's had the heart to junk him. But when I started, I gave him new purpose. I programmed him to tell us local news and announcements. I modeled his responses after my own sarcastic sense of humor. It proved to be popular, so I did what any aspiring comedian would do and gave him a bunch of stupid jokes to tell. People love it. Or at least that's what they say. Right. Okay. Good seeing you again. Leaving already. Yep. Sorry. You got the look of a miner about you. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Right. No work, right? Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Right. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. From Aussie. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. I used to do mining work for Argos. I was hoping you had some work, but it doesn't sound like it. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Mm -hmm. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job, off the books. Alright, depends on what it is, let me hear it. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Right. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? Right. I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, go tell me the plan. Okay. Glad you're still on board. Uh-huh. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Well, I am a miner. Um, why not just hire more miners? Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Right. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities. So I don't make the rules. I understand. All right. Let's do it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Caution. Right. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. So. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremors. Detonation occurs in five, four, three, two, one. didn't come down how long will that last red tape blues gather iron all right 
Particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity. Alright, so we're going to need our mining laser. So we got this new job. If there were any doubt of Sidonia's importance to the United Colonies and its industry, this certainly puts it to rest. Oh, for sure. All right, so. Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. Does it look like I'm pointing it at you? Consider this unit always on the job. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where am I supposed to be mining at? Um. Um. All right. All right. Hold on a sec. I've got to use my scanner. Okay. This is. Alright, I'll be right back after I mine this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll just stick with it. It won't take that long to mine this. Cheers, I have a bloody fit. What do you think about my mining hey, stock? You know why they call this the red planet? Because it's, red. it's not the moon. Because <laughs> it's Thank red. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Because it's red. <laughs> Very funny. Who sent you to ask? Was it Rivka? Who? No. She seems to know what she's doing. I bet it was Hank, wasn't it? Actually, it was he me. always acts like he's top dog. But we all know he couldn't mine his way out of a wet paper bag. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, like, what a loser. <laughs> I knew it. Listen, don't let him in on it. He tends to get real mad. <laughs> I think he's self-conscious about his performance. And that goes for more than mining, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, don't care. All right. Hey, see you around, I guess. So we got that, uh... Okay. I can see you're serious about helping me. Right. Okay. So what's with the klaxons and that detonation announcement I heard? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. <laughs> My ass. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hey? What? You're fracking with subterranean particle detonations? What's that? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we right. can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous. 
if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Quince is pretty dangerous and crazy. Well, okay, no worries, is that it? Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Right, right, Just right. Just sit down or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy and you'll be fine. All right, okay. Um, so, must be boss around here. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. Right. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Alright, so how does the mining operation here on Mars go? Uh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, right. which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. Mm. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the ass end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well, I did ask. That was kind of boring. <laughs> Sorry. I chopped off the ore as you requested. Right. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Okay. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Wouldn't it just be easier asking to approve it? You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. Right. I don't even so. know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Alright, I'll take the job. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yards office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. Surely there must be someone else who can take such a ridiculous job. Andrea? Hello. Have you checked your air uh, are you not happy with me taking that job? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. How are we doing? Very well. Oh. <laughs> um, don't you ever want to catch me? I have done so in the past, when necessary. But I am not the best pilot, and... It seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. I like that outfit. All right, so where's your favorite place in this place? <sighs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. Okay, are you still mad at me? Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. I hope that was informative. Right. Right. Exactly what I said. <laughs> Okay, so is a leading cause of oh. respiratory illness. Remember, keep it breezy so you don't get wheezy. Hold up, sir. All right, this looks like the bar of the fame red devils. The red eyes are some badge of honor, I take it. They would be difficult to conceal. Hello. Sir. Private drinking establishment. Vets only. Uh. Wait, seriously, you're not going to let me drink here? No. Alright, fine, I'll take my credits elsewhere. 
Glad we understand each other. Okay. Um, wait. Hey. Excuse me. Um, hello? You're gonna get me in trouble. Um, listen. Will anyone talk to me? Howdy. Alright, whatever. Private drinking establishment. Oh, the Sixth Circle. Ha ha ha. As in Red Devils. Let's go. Caution. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated Maybe in the event we shouldn't of take the elevator. Tremor. Detonation occurs in five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Particle detonation concluded. It is now safe. Um, P1? To resume. <laughs> if I see yes. Yet. Come on. We're going. All right. Well, hopefully that person behind me is going to be too. Same place to start at. Okay. Pardon? You don't remember me? Never mind. Now he's acting like, oh, I don't remember you from that long ass mission. Do your part to preserve. Hi. Thank you from the Sedonia Department of Public Works. Continue to rise. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a minor. Yeah. Or at least don't come crying to me if anything happens to you. Yeah, I stepped in there. They didn't give me a very warm welcome. What the heck's there? All right. Make sure we're equipped. Um. Get out there and start do something different. Uh -oh. Okay, so we're going to go do some exploring. So, there's just shit there. Of course we've been there. There's a ship there. We 
are headed north to that ship. Oh, it's just one market. It's always tough getting out of here. That looks like a free star, uh, I mean, you see patrol ship, a longsword. mostly want to get inorganic stuff for Noel so we can make some mud because we're kind of broke. why the sun doesn't look like our sun it looks white Maybe I should have bought that fancy new vehicle I saw in the uh, ship services. Hmm. I'll have to pick that up once we get some more money. Mm. It's on a cook now.
find out what's going on out here. Dark. Um. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Andre, what are you doing? Sorry. I'm sorry, you okay? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes? Um. Alright then. Oh, she's hurt. I'm sorry. Hazardous weather.
something? Poor quality air. Trying to make it to that ship. Where's that ship at? Okay, so. Alright, we got a bit of ways to go. We'll be back. <laughs> 